Tatiana Kristinsky, and my TED Talk topic is how the war in Ukraine affected my and my family's life. War. War is something we all know and that we've all heard of, either in school or on the news. Most likely you've heard about the war going on currently in Ukraine. I'm Ukrainian. My parents are from Ukraine. This war has impacted my life and my family a lot. Thursday, February 24, 2022. On Thursday, Vladimir Putin's spur march of Russian troops into Ukraine escalated into a full-scale invasion, with forces swarming the country by land, air, and sea. Air raid sirens rang loudly with no stop. Houses burst into oblivion. Kiev was under attack. I want to let you know how it feels when your country goes to war, to teach you how to deal with this feeling and the way others may react. I want you to know that when someone says or acts, Sorry, I know you're sad. And are you okay? I understand. Stand up for yourself and say, it's not okay. The day Putin led his attack on Ukraine, sleep was lost. Countless hours were spent awake checking the news and anxiously praying that my relatives are safe. Nightmares flooded my thoughts when I closed my eyes. War. Blood. Death. That's how it felt. Thursday was a school day. Everyone was talking about Ukraine. Some were even joking about it. My heart ached at the sight. Part of me wanted to correct them, to scold them of their foolishness. Instead, I buried my feelings inside of me, holding myself captive. One week later, news channels were avoided. My relatives fled from Ukraine to Poland. Men stayed behind to protect Ukraine. Women with children left their husbands and fathers. People hid in shelters with a low supply of food and water. Many hid in subways underground. I'm a Ukrainian Orthodox Christian. My church, St. Vladimir Orthodox Church, raises generous donations to Ukraine. My mom, who is a part of the church board, sorted an enormous donation to Ukraine in my church basement. We gathered humanitarian aids Diapers, adult diapers, feminine products, baby food, military clothes, blankets, baby clothes, canned foods, cleansing needs, and lots of clothes. In less than a week, the entire basement was loaded with even more donations still coming in. My family was in the center of this whole process. We stayed for countless hours on the weekends at church, packing all those things into boxes. The first week of the war was when everybody worried and thought about Ukraine. After that, the war in Ukraine was like a memory. News channels still spoke about the war, but people did not. It was past tense, an old trend. But our Ukrainians led various protests all around the world. Signs saying we slash I stand with Ukraine were sold at my church and from my mom. Magnets from cars were also sold. That money went to buying backpacks that were specifically requested by soldiers in Ukraine. Present day, three months later. The war in Ukraine is still ongoing. Many people are dying, but as far as I know, normal Americans who were not involved in donations have forgotten about Ukraine completely. Others have not. Recently, I began bringing little stickers for a dollar with Ukrainian colors and a trident on it to school for sale for Ukraine. I made almost $50. The packages we packed for Ukraine in my church made it to Ukraine and are now in use. The war is still happening. Please do not forget, it is not a joke to make, or a ruse, or fake. Every donation counts, so thank you if you do. My family and many others have suffered mentally and physically from this war. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk topic. Slava Ukraini. Heroim Slava.